Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So I'm going to draw, I saw something in a magazine and it struck me and I wanted to draw my version of it and do a painting with it. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, I'm just going to use my uh, mechanical pencil. It's one of my favorites. I use it all the time. It's by Paper Meat. Um, I have to go look and see if they have any more of these. I have a couple of these that came in a pack, but uh, so I'm not using my water soluble today. <laughs> So I just, I fell in love with this. This is just a canvas. And um, I don't even know the colors that I'm going to do. Ugh, maybe pink. Pink just spilled on me. Maybe I'll do pink. But I just kind of want to draw. I think I'm going to go like this. It's going to be, it's tree based. So that's what I'm basing it on. I don't know. I kind of want a deer. <laughs> I've not drawn a deer before. You, can you, if I put my light on, it's probably going to be too bright. Um, uh, either one's fine. It's not, I'm not going to change anything. Um, so this would be his... ear. I'll just have to fix this with paint. I'm not a very good drawer of deer, I guess. We will get to it later. All right. I want it to come down here. Yeah, I want that to be his leg joint. Yeah, his little with that later his little paw and then I'm gonna go like this oh, I see a lot of erasing in my future <laughs> his belly and I think I'll do another like here Maybe this out just a little bit because I'm gonna be working down here and I'm just gonna do another leg So I want that to be attached. Hmm. Maybe I'll just go up here. Kind of make it like that. And then take this. And zoom it out. I know I'm going to have to. Crap. I know I'm going to have to. Uh, <coughs> erase. That's not exactly. Now I'm on canvas. This is just a canvas board. Um, that's that they gessoed. It's a manufacturer gesso, which I think is fine. I think I want this more. Um, but I hate erasing on canvases because it never comes up the way I want it to. And I didn't want to use the water soluble one today. I just wanted to kind of draw. Um, although I love my water soluble. I'm gonna draw it like this. I want that to be a little thicker, and I think here, I want, this. to come in here, if that makes sense. Let's spin this around a little bit more. <laughs> I'm thinking everything out while I'm talking to you. While I'm, I'm recording. Because that's just how I roll. Oh, Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. This should come up like this. Oh, it's my pencil. It's a fine uh, thing. Well, let's try it like this. And then do his head here. Do a snake head there later. I know it looks funny now because I got a triangle, but I'm just trying to put shapes in so I kind of know where I'm at. Um, then I think I want this to kind of go like this. Let's bring that little part of the tree in and take the other part of the tree this way with that. Move it down this way a little bit and. I'm going to put in hmm. that white there. I 
kind of want a face there. And I wonder if I should have it laying in here. A face. I don't know. I might have to play with that after. Because I'll know. And I'm going to just kind of bring this in. And then deal with those outer parts later. And then I'm just going to think I'm going to just take this off the board for now. Just so I can figure it out. Hmm. I'm going to have to have. I want to paint it, but I think I want to keep it black and gray. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't... I always make these, and I'm looking at this, and I'm like, he has a belly like me. I think that's why I do it. I make the animals have my belly, and I think his neck might be too long. But, I I mean, this isn't like a, um, this isn't going to be a true-to-life kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to be my rendition of of it. That kind of looks like a greyhound. <laughs> I don't know so much I want that either. Because nose, he has a big nose like me too. We're all over the place, Cal. All over the place. On the mouth and the nose. Kind of looks like a dog. I guess I can roll with the dog. I don't have to have it be what I want it to be. And But I do think that's too... Oh my gosh. Why did I even push record? It's going to take me too long to draw. I just want to map out what I want. And then I'll get to the coloring. But I think I want to bring this up more. Um, let's swing this out this way. and Just kind of... See, my dog's even, like, breathing heavy. Like, really? Really? Um, I'm going to kind of bring it up like that. And see what I can do with that. Like, with his little feet. Okay. I want like the outside to be like graphic. Ha ha ha. I'm not sure right here is thick enough. So I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna gesso it once I'm done to kind of make the uh, lines still show that I can go over them, but just so they're uh, covered. Because you can see they're not going to erase. Maybe have it thick like that. Not digging on this face. Not digging on the face. I think the face needs a little bigger. Turn it. Maybe I'll turn it. No, I should. I love when the little things from the eraser follow me. All right. Oh, it's gonna be too high up. Too high up. And this is too pointy. <laughs> if this, if I put this up on my videos. So that's why I add music to things because then I think this is a good idea. Just watch me draw. I'm going to draw. And then it gets like this. And I'm like, who the heck wants to sit and watch this? All right. So I'm going to do her mouth here. And I'm going to do a nose here. That way I kind of know better where I want to put my eyes. I'll do them here and here. And I'm going to just kind of do ovals right now. And like play with them. Okay, this oval needs to be a little more oval. -er. Then we have that, but her hair needs to be too many ideas in this head. That's the problem. I'm going to give her a little eye brows. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do for her hair. So I'm just going to kind of 
let it roll. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know. All right. So now I'm going to have to. Oh, do I want to add something else? What am I going to do down here? I need this. Probably should have brought that down more. All right. You know what I'll do? I know what I'll do. Why don't I grab my. Just so, just so. Yeah, we'll use this. Okay, so I'm going to use my Deco Medium. Deco Media Just So. All right, I'll need a big brush. I think this is a big brush. And I'm going in to Just So. I'm not going to worry about all the edges or exactly. And I'm using my, uh, I'm, the reason I'm using the pencil that I'm using is because you can see as I'm just doing it, it's not, um, it's not going to smear everything. <sighs> oh my goodness, come on. Can't find my good eraser. But it's not going to smear everything, so it's a good, you know, it's a good thing when you use your mechanical pencil. I, that's all I usually draw with. I have millions of them. I have them all over the house as if I decided in the bathroom I wanted to pick up a pencil and draw. I've never done that before, but who knows what the future holds for any of us. Maybe drawing in the bathroom is something that will that will catch on. But not done that yet. Things that come to my head to talk about, I just don't understand. Kathy Kathy, Kathy Spears started drawing faces a little while ago, maybe a couple weeks, maybe painting them. I shouldn't say drawing faces, but painting the faces. She's been drawing for a while and she is rocking it. I love when I see her put up her stuff in the group and uh, everywhere. Now I have a group, all things creative. Um, on Facebook. It's a great group. Drama free. Everybody's so loving and supportive. Um, if you're interested in joining, all you have to do is friend me on Facebook. My link's down below. And then throw me a message and say, hey, add me to the group. We're almost at 500. So that's exciting. Now I know that I want to cover this up. So I'm going to go a little thicker right there with the gesso. Any mistakes that I kind of made that this will just kind of wait it out. Yeah, that's good. A little bit more in here. And I'm just being kind of random because it'll just come up with different textures. Especially, I, I, I think I'm going gray and black again. I love that. Or I, I don't know if I want to go colorful. I don't know. I'm so confused. But yeah, so you guys can friend me and uh, see how this mind works. It bounces back and forth. Friend me on Facebook and I will add you in. We have um, ATC swaps and we have, um, there's going to be journal page swaps coming up. And I don't know if Susan's doing another ATC swap or what did she do last month? Was it? I, I don't even know. It was some sort of swap and I can't recall what it was. She takes care of all that stuff. So she does her own thing. But she always has great turnout. And I'm, I'm going to tell you what, um, when I, I probably mentioned this before, but when I was doing the ATC swaps last year, I guess at this time, I would write her crying because I hated it. People were so either mean or people wanted to be in it, but then they never sent their stuff out. And I just couldn't handle all the drama and people not liking what they got, saying, you know, they spent an hour doing an ATC card, but they received back ATC card that wasn't, I mean, all this stuff. And maybe people had valid points. I don't know. It overwhelmed me so much that Susan said, you know what? I'll do it. I'll take it over. And she has, and it has, she's been a rock star and, uh, she's been doing it. So kudos to her. Cause I don't know what I would do without her. And then Pixie Allen is doing a journal page swap in the group. So if you're interested in that, well, let me know, but she's doing that and that's very exciting. I might join in that this time. 
I probably I'm gonna join in it to uh, to do it the first time. I haven't done a swap in a while. All right, so I'm just kind of cleaning off my brush now. On I know I didn't put too much up here, Justo, so I'm just gonna kind of randomly put it. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'm going to use the Deco Art Dimensional Effects Paintable Texture Paste. And you don't have to do this part if you don't want. If you want to do it in, you know, you don't have the stuff or do it in your art journal, it doesn't matter. I'm going to put it down. Sometimes I'll just use very thick paint. I have videos on that where I just use white white paint very thick and then draw lines in it. I just happen to have this, happen to love it, I'm going to use it. So grab my, what brush do I want? I want like a medium brush, like a little, little rougher of a brush. And I'm going to go in and add it. And this is paintable, so that means that it'll paint will tape to it. But this is going to give me the texture that I want. It's okay if you go out of the lines a little bit because you're just going to paint it. My question is, do I want that to be textured? That is the question. I'm sorry if I move my camera. This is a very uh, big brush handle. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, Kelly, do you want that in there? I don't know. I don't know if I want the texture. But I do know, yeah, let's just do it. I do know I need to get a smaller brush to get in these pieces. But see how thick you can make it? It's kind of what you're wanting. I have my big brush out. I'm going to go over it one more time right here just so I have a little bit more. Oh, itchy hand. Okay. Because this is where we're going to have the tree trunk. Okay. I'm just pushing this down to get it off. Set this here while I get a smaller brush to lay it elsewhere on these little teeny spots here. I just want to brush it in. Mm -hmm. And this is just going to add a little bit of texture. It's not needed, um, but it's what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do. But you don't need to do it. can't talk and do this at the same time. It's very odd. <laughs> Wish I would have brought Q-tips in because Q-tips would be great. All right. I'll do this part up here. I'm not going to do her face yet with this because I don't necessarily want her face with this. I just want the texture because if I do, if I do black and white, or if I even do color, it doesn't matter. I still want the texture, you know what I mean? So, oops, sorry, I didn't turn my Facebook off. I'll try to. Sometimes I think I do, and then obviously I don't. Oh dear. Notifications. Okay. 
okay? I just want some of it added. But when I paint, and then do this little bad boy over here with his legs. It's going to roll that. Take some of it, run it down. Take some more, run it down. And you can see I'm making it thick. I want it to be thick. You, if you do something like this, do it whatever you like it. Maybe you don't want to do it on there. Maybe you don't want it thick. Maybe you just want it light. Maybe you want it thicker. Guess what? It's yours. You do it whatever way you want. Everything's a matter of what you like, you know, what you dig. Some people, you know, don't like certain things that don't bother other people. So that's what makes us all humans and different. Although some people are really different and <laughs> I don't know. You can't, you can't bash people for being different or thinking different or anything like that. Definitely. But some people I just don't get, and I think we all are like that. They probably don't get me. So, you know, to each their own. All right. And I'm just going to add this little bit of texture in this bad boy, just so it doesn't lay completely flat when it dries. Okay, I think I got a little more time there. Yeah, everywhere but the face. All right, that's good. Now I just gotta let that dry. You can take your paintbrush with the handle and you can definitely drag it through if you wanna have a few more I think I'm only going to do it here in the middle. If you want a little bit more texture. Just a little bit. Help it along. And that's all for that. So I'm just going to let that dry and then we shall be back. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to take, I'm debating on using acrylic or watercolor. I'm probably going to use acrylic. I want to, I want to make this black and gray. So I want to lay some black down. Is this dry? Yeah. It's very humid here today. So I got to double check. Let me find my gray. Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. I'm just using the uh, Deco Art Media Payne's Gray. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do my normal stuff. I'm going to lay it down. I'm going to take my big brush and it's pretty wet, a lot of water in there. And I'm going to go like this on both sides and I'm going to ever so gently. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm going to go in around. I'm going to leave a little bit of room uh, around my tree and all that because I don't exactly have that down exactly how I want it, but I want it to be, I want to get this layer down first because I definitely can play and I'm doing it light enough that I can do things over it. And if you accidentally go on your uh, mulling paste, miling paste, it's okay. I just want to it the majority of this laid down here. And we'll be putting another coat on. Maybe. I mean, who knows? You never know. Just want to kind of go in. And you can see how it will last a lot longer when you add water. It will go a lot further. So that's why I do it. And I don't want it to be so opaque. I want it to be transparent. Yeah. I'm going to do 
go back and do that. Just leaving a little bit of space between. And you can go back and darken it a little bit if you want. And this is gessoed canvas. Like I said, this is just your canvas that you buy at the craft store. Nothing major. Okay. So now I can kind of see what I'm dealing with. And it gives me a little room to play. Don't know what I'm going to do with her hair yet. So I'm just going to kind of go over that a little bit. And do this. Okay. And I'm going to end the video here. So I can get this really good and dry because I want this good and dry. I don't want to work with it this wet. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to do this thing. And I have a lot of things I want to add. That's another reason I'm keeping the back, the uh, background light or as light as I can right now. And then I'm going to come in and just start with the tree and do all this. I want to add, like for her hair, I'm trying to figure out, I might want to do flowers or we, I don't know. I'm, I'm having... I'm, I'm thinking about it, having a moment to think about it. But this is that for this. It's only going to be a two-parter. Next one, I'll just finish it out as long as it takes. But this is just kind of where I'm going right now. And uh, it probably will look nothing like this when I'm done. But it gives me an idea of where to go from here. So, you guys, thanks for watching. I love you guys so, so very much. Uh, the contest for the um, water-soluble crayons ends I think tomorrow so make sure you go to knittingandthings.com I'll put the link down below go check it out enter uh you can enter today and then I think tomorrow and then it ends midnight so go enter the winner will be picked and always as always be kind to each other you never know what battle somebody else is fighting I love you guys so so very much and you guys rock and I will see you guys later bye guys